everybody, this is Sean Powell. I am in a video making mood, which I am glad because it's been a long time. Uh, this is going to be Walking with Sean Part 2, okay? Um, again, since the last video I made just a few minutes ago, it's probably it's not even entirely uploaded yet. Uh, I've, I've talked to a couple more people. Uh, people that's new that's come into business, um, a guy named Danny in California. I've uh, been messaging a couple of times back and forth. But the whole point is, y'all, this is going to be on uh, follow-up emails. Now, I know my perspective is I don't like to teach things unless it's something that I personally do. And, and, and what I'm trying to say is if I was doing paid advertising, y'all, and I mean, seriously, if paid advertising was my only avenue for, uh, for getting people, then what I would, I know that all you get is really an, an email. So for these people to connect with you, it's really going to take a, a lot of email marketing and keeping that in your mind. So again, when I have that piece of paper and I'm going to say today's going to be just uh, paid advertising doing solo ads, then obviously email is going to be right on up there. It's the highest point, right? So, and, and I'm not knocking that. If that's the avenue you pick, you need to have a Weber. You need to have get response. You need to have something a little bit more than just POS, to be honest, because it's such the backbone. And, you know, there's another avenue for getting paid with get response or whatever. I think AWeber may even have it as well. The reason I don't have AWeber or get response, understand this, y'all. It's not that I'm against either one of them. I brand me with everything I do. Every time I open my mouth, everything I do on Facebook, everything I do in the YouTube world is branding me, people connecting directly with me. Now, let me tell you how powerful that is, y'all. That means that if I... If all the pages I had in PLS, y'all, this is the honest truth, all the pages in PLS were gone tomorrow, right? And all I had in PLS was just a sign-up link and nothing else. We're talking about that blue and white page and nothing else. And this is true with any business, y'all. If I make three or four videos that people get a chance to connect with me with, and they can tell me that I'm being real, I'm being sincere, I believe in the business, and all I had to do was mash the record button and let go. You don't think that they're going to connect with me. A lot of people are. Not all of them. Not everybody's going to connect with anybody. Not everybody. But the point is, even a weak sales funnel or no sales funnel, I could still get signups because of the way that people connect with me, right? It's me standing, like my last video a minute ago, at the front door of my handout is what I'm doing. In the, in the solo ad world, there's nothing wrong or paid advertising world. There's nothing wrong. It's just always ask yourself in the back of your mind, when do they get to meet you, the number one cheerleader in their business, right? So when's that actually going to take place? So me standing at the front door with my handout from, from day one and the way that people connect with me has been my, my bread and butter for how people sign up with me. The ratios that I get, I have been with the number one, you know, leaders in the businesses and and my ratios would kill theirs from the people who have signed up to going active, from the people who have signed up that's going upsells, uh, from my lead numbers that's going sponsored, you know, to, into it. All of them go ridiculous because they connect with me. The answer to online business, y'all, is people join people. And you got to know that. And if you leave that part out, you're going to struggle. You will always struggle. People that hide behind a sales funnel wonder why it's not working, spending thousands of dollars when here I am mashing a record button, don't have nothing scripted, and just letting go. And the sad part is, they believe as much as I do. But their pride's an issue. Their hang-ups are an issue. That's the problem with these people. And in and, and a month from now, six months from now, they're going to see me posting all over all over my timeline. They're going to see all over the Facebook group. They might see me on the leaderboards. They're going to see me. And they're wondering, how is this cat here who ain't even doing paid advertising, ain't spending a dime, getting such crazy ratios? And a lot of times, I'm not even having high lead numbers, and I'm getting ridiculous ratios. It's because people are connecting with me every step of the way. Everything I do is branding me. I don't change that, y'all. I... I don't want paid advertising. I have nothing against it. I like what I do because it brands me. And why would I change that? See what I'm saying? That, that, that Everything fits to me simple in a, in a really good way. And maybe it's because I'm old school. You know, from the 80s. I was born in 1972. I'm 45, you know, almost 40, 45 and a half years old. 
getting phone calls here. Hold on here. Uh, but that's got a lot to do with maybe my mentality, but I still like to use that. I didn't mean for it to take so long here. All right, so we're going to talk about follow-up emails, y'all. This is going to be uh, me personally giving you my answers to what I think. Now, understand, you can talk to 10 different people, and they're going to give you different perspectives. Uh, I'm just going to give you what I learned that was worked for me, and when my ratios are so high for signups, and exactly what I've done, the very first thing I, I consider, autoresponder emails, y'all, a lot of people like to, to fall back on that as a crutch and say that's their email campaign, that is it. To me, that is so wrong. Uh, I don't even call them autoresponders. What I consider autoresponders, I call auto reminders. In my opinion, it does more to remind them that they seen something. You know, today is Saturday. What if, what if I popped in real quick and I was cutting grass today and I got an email or something. You know what I'm saying? Today just wasn't a good day for me. But today after tomorrow, oh man, I'm laying around the house. This is perfect. I thank God I got this email. Yes, I'm going to go check this out. That's more of an auto re reminder to me is what the autoresponders have done for me per se. But if I had to choose between a follow-up email or all the email campaign to come out with an auto responder slash auto reminder, I would take the follow-up email. That's the honest truth. Because most of the time, that's the email. Now, I send it directly from Gmail, and I use uh, canned response. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not. I send it directly from me because the, the, the chances of it being delivered are, are perfect. I, you know, And not only that, I always get the highest amount of emails back coming from my actual uh, you know, follow-up email. This is what a follow-up email should be, y'all. I would say try to keep it short. Don't try to overdo it. And you should try things. You should play with it a little bit, y'all. If Let me tell you something. If, if I started today online business, and a year from now, one year from now, if my email hasn't changed, have I learned anything? Have I tried anything? To me, that's how important email uh, follow-up emails are. I should evolve. I should, you know, I have a copy of my first one. That's great. I felt good about that one. But what were my results? Now, let's change this a little bit. Maybe I thought it was too big. Let's cut some of this stuff out, some of the, you know, the fat that was not, not really necessary. And let's put uh, this in and then try and see what happens, right? And then I'm evolving from it and seeing what the ratios are. People that do online business, it is a business, y'all. That's what you do in a business. You try things, you see what works, whether it did or didn't, you learn from it and you keep going. Now, my follow-up email. I always got a picture of me and my little boy right here at the very top because I want people to connect with me. I've been saying it the whole time. People join people, I will say it until I'm freaking blue in the face. And people who are hiding behind sales funnels wondering why you're struggling, you need to listen because there's your answer. Very first thing I want to have, y'all, is say, hey, Jim, uh, you know, welcome to, uh, or thanks for coming through and checking out Power Lead Systems. Uh, my actual uh, header is, you know, hey, Jim, uh, this is Sean the PLS guy. The reason I do that, or for whatever the business is, it don't matter what the business is, y'all, I want to be branded and known as that guy, the PLS guy, this business guy, whatever that business is. There's easy ways of branding yourself just by telling people. And and I'm going to tell you something, y'all. I've had businesses before where out of the whole business, people would tell me when they thought that business, they only thought of two people out of the whole business. And I was one of them. Branding yourself into a business is one of the most valuable things you can ever do, period. Branding yourself is the answer. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tell you that, y'all. So if you are doing paid advertising, I'm not, not, please understand I'm not against that. Just take these elements that I'm telling you. Where do they meet you? The number one cheerleader for your business. Or are you spending thousands of dollars branding someone else? At minimum, make a landing page, y'all. Don't even say what the business is. Don't let the cat out of the bag, but just let people know I'm excited about this business, y'all. I love this business. It has meant everything to me. I see light at the end of my toe. I can see freedom. You know what? I'm, I'm, I just can't wait for the next year to come up. You put that in a landing page, people connect with you, and then they go to the sales page and have something great. It ain't gotta be you there. If it is, great, but if not, and you ain't ready to do something like that, that's fine. Have a great sales page. Y'all, y'all got something. You got something that'll convert and give you some really high ratios. So that's something to think about. You know, something that may be growing too. Let's go back to the follow-up email, y'all. Very first things, like I said, I just want to put a little introductory. I might put something down there 
Uh, if you've accomplished anything, like, uh, you know, I was able to get free from a job in six months. I came in online business last week of October 2014. May 7th, I was free from a job. Online business is all I do. Y'all can't tell you how important it's been to me and my little boy. My little boy is 11 years old. I've been free from a job since he was seven. I can't even imagine what being home every day would be like that with my dad. I can't even imagine. That's the content I would put, right? And sometimes I got to make it shorter. <laughs> but I want to be sincere. Sincerity is the answer. Now, never have an email that you don't have call to actions in a follow-up email. People don't want a boss, but they need to be managed, right? That's the honest truth. They don't want a boss, but they want to be managed. They need to be managed. That call to action is going to be, I want you to hear this. Y'all, at minimum, go ahead and sign up. Friend me on Facebook, and I'll personally welcome you. Or make sure you get in that Facebook group, y'all. You need to be around these people that love this business. You need to see these people making $6,000 plus a week. You need to, you know, you really need to see these people succeeding that love this business. I want them there because that's my support group. These people here are part of my team, even if they're not on my team. People are showing $6,000 weeks. You know, they're going to be influenced. People are always influenced to do things. These are the kind of people, and I want them to see me in that Facebook group. Now, let's say somebody call or messages me, and I know they have not friended me on, on my, my timeline or have not friended me on Facebook. They're not in the Facebook group, y'all. They have not signed up. Yes, I'll answer the question, but you know what? I'm going to hammer away at them signing up or, or, I'm sorry, friending me on Facebook until I'm blue in the face. I will keep on. Look, y'all, I'm here every day. Just go ahead and friend me on Facebook. If they can see me on my timeline and see I believe in our business and see I'm a beacon for that business, it's just going, the, the opportunity, the chances of them going to the next level are much higher, right? So that's my call to action, y'all. And then after that, um, I might post, if you've got some results recently, I, I would sometimes post a couple of results, maybe the last week or so in PLS, maybe showing a $2,000, $3,000 a week or whatever I had, maybe a $600 a day. And if you don't have any credibility yet or anything like that, y'all, that's fine too. It's not really necessary. Um, if you've got a sponsor, now this is the thing. If you need to use someone else's credibility, I, I kind of consider it calling that, that's fine too, y'all. But don't lie and tell people that it's your money that you've been making at. Last thing you want to do is trying to build credibility by lying to you people that's going to shoot your credibility because they're going to know real quick that you're lying okay so it's not worth that none of that fake it till you make it crap either I, I'm, I'm against that i've heard some leaders say that uh i think anytime you're it's, it's taking away your uh credibility entirely it's a bad thing to do you got to create credibility first get your first gold member get your first or second or third gold member whatever it is sometimes it means busting your ass to get that one or two people or three people now you got momentum right once you got the momentum started, you put the floor, I mean, you just put your foot on the floor and you just keep going and use that momentum to make more momentum. And y'all, I'm going to tell you what, I've seen some people that are broke or broke-minded that would make $5,000 in a week, week and a half or something like that, right? And then they would say, okay, it's time for vacation. And they say, you know, they quit. They don't, they don't put their foot on the gas anymore. And what could have been a $20,000 month, they let off at the $5,000 point. You see what I'm saying? Anytime you got the momentum rolling, keep the foot on the keep your get, foot on the gas and just keep going, and that's what's going to happen. Now, last part of that follow up email, y'all, and I, I'm telling you, just be sincere. That's really a big part of it. I would try not to make it real big. Sometimes my broadcasts, which I think are real important, uh, if I send out a broadcast to the people, my broadcast can be a little lengthy. Uh, I try not to be, but if I'm being real sincere and telling people what to think about my business. I've had some really high results and returns from my broadcast itself. So I'm not knocking that. Um, but in a follow-up email, you don't want to give them so much it gives them out to read it. You know what I'm saying? Now, <clears throat> whatever you write, make sure that you take a moment to, to send it to yourself and look at it. This is the final draft. This is what these people are going to see. And, and another thing to watch out for, and this is real important, is at the very bottom when you're signing off, y'all, I would always make sure that I check the link to make sure it goes. I always want that link in there. I used to be so green when I first got in the online business, y'all, that I didn't know how to get back to the site. I would have been waiting for the autoresponder email. Imagine if the autoresponder email didn't work for whatever reason. That happens at times, y'all. You know that, right? There's always a percentage chance it's not going to work or whatever. But that follow-up email, y'all, my sponsor, I learned so much by him by what he did than what he said, to be honest. So I always went back to that email, and, and, and I finally 
put it on my, you know, and and uh, bookmarked it. Finally, I was so green. But uh, you know, if it wasn't for that, I might not have ever got my first business. I know that sounds crazy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it is. I would have maybe had to go somewhere else just because he didn't give me the link. Always make sure that you sign it off as your name. Let them know that you're being accessible, y'all. Show them that you believe in the business. Show them that you uh, apply action. I got all sorts of stuff on my screen here. Hope I don't mess it up here. And then what I'll do is, uh, you know, just show them the way in. And I want their link to be right there so they have access to it, back into it every time. And that's all I do, y'all. It's really, really simple. All right, y'all. I'm going to end this. I'm, I might start doing these more often. Uh, I've always uh, sat in front of a computer, and I've, I've been wanting to get outside some. And I've got uh, Tim, one of my downline. Uh, he's gone fully in MTI, and uh, I'm proud of him. He's been applying a lot of action. He's been sitting in the backyard and just letting go. And I tell him, man, I, I, and I've also said this before, you know, I might inspire people to do things, but I also get inspired by my downline. I love seeing people apply in action, y'all. And uh, I'm proud of Tim. I'm proud of several people that's recently come into the business. I hope to keep seeing you start making videos like this as well and just keep getting out there, buddy. All right. Until the next video, see you.